Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, we are on a dock at Kootenai Lake. Why are we here? Um, that's because we, as many of you know, we came out to British Columbia to go bass fishing and where we wanted to go was Duck Lake. Um, we're very close to Duck Lake right now, but for whatever reason, and I didn't notice this on the website, I'm gonna go back and look again. Um, the only road into Duck Lake is closed from August 15th to October 15th each year I think because of migratory water birds. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, we can't get onto Duck Lake. Yep. Nope. Which really sucks. But thanks to somebody called the Northern Fisherman, who is from Airdrie, which is the community just north of Calgary, uh, basically almost a suburb of Calgary. Um, we happen to know that he went fishing from this very dock twice in the last year, this this season, and caught a bunch of fish. So we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy day. Uh, let's get to it. Okay, uh, first cast. Just got a perch. It's pretty good. Back in the water. <laughs> awesome. First cast, and I also had one on first cast. Yeah. Well, good. let's get some more. So just picked up another one here on about my third or fourth cast. I'm fishing looking good today. So get this back guy back in the water here. And we'll keep on fishing. All right, so that was my sixth cast, and I just picked up uh, my fourth fish. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, so we'll get this guy back in the water and keep on going. Oh, you just got off. There we go. And that's how it's done. <laughs> All right, guys, just picked up my 10th perch. Uh, pretty good day so far. We'll get this guy back in the water. But I also wanted to show off my setup here because I'm actually using something a little bit different. Um, so you can see here, I just got a small little jig at the bottom um, and then it was really light so we just threw a weight on the line and then you hook a little piece of worm and I've just been casting this in, uh, picking up a bite almost every cast. So actually we'll cast one right now and see if we can get something. Oh, I got a follow up there. See you next time. Yeah. Oh. Back there. That's the northern pike, you know. All right, everybody. So I think Karen just showed you his 10th fish. This is my 10th fish. Uh, all of the perch here are relatively small, kind of in this size range. I'll get this one back in the water. Um, super fun to catch, though. That's our. 20th fish already. I think we've been here. Go on. 
Oh, Kieran just caught one in the background. <laughs> so that's our 21st fish. Um, I think we've been here for maybe 40 minutes. Um, you pretty much get one every single bite. So he's using the rig that he showed you. Mine's a little bit different. Um, I, I'm bobber fishing. So I've got a bobber here. I'm running it at about three feet deep. I just have a couple of split shots and then a single hook with a piece of worm on it. Um, it's been fantastic. Uh, we're gonna keep going. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do is actually catch something different. There are other species in here and they do bite off the stock. So uh, we're trying to have a multi-species day, but the perch are kind of going crazy at the moment. So I have seen a follow-up from a, uh, another species, but we weren't able to catch it. So we'll keep trying. Okay, everybody, so we just got our second species. Uh, this is my second ever uh, northern pike minnow. So uh, there are definitely northern pike minnow in here. There we go. Little tiny northern pike minnow. I'll take it. It's cool that we got another species. All right, everybody, I'm going to try to show you how quick this is. So I'm just going to cast out here with my bobber and see how quick I get a bite. There we go, got one. Oh. Bite is really subtle. Again. Got one. Just like that, real time. Gone. <laughs> it's that easy. All right guys, just caught my 29th fish. It's a little bit bigger, so I thought I'd show this one off. Um, been a pretty good day so far. Uh, quite a few fish, so let's get him back in the water. All right, guys, this is really cool. Just picked up my third species of the day and uh, my first ever sunfish. Um, I believe my understanding that this is a pumpkin seed. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know my sunfish, but I'll look it up later. It is not very big, but it is really cool that this is a new species for me. It was one of the species we were after. Uh, so that is really, really awesome. Uh, I'm gonna get a picture of this one and get it back in. Really cool, really cool. All right guys, just caught my 40th perch of the day. Uh, things are looking good. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right everybody, so we've tried so many different methods today. Um, we've had bobbers, we've had jigs, we've had uh, worms, we've used pieces of perch. Um, this is one of my favorites, this, this tiny little jig head here. And just threading it with a piece of worm right up like you would a plastic right to the end there's Kieran just uh, caught a perch on a bobber and just casting this uh, I've got a bullet weight in the front of it just to add a little bit of weight because it's such a small micro jig and uh, I'm just gonna cast out here and show you how quick it is to get a bite it's pretty amazing not necessarily gonna get a fish here but I I'm almost positive I'm gonna get a bite so here we go there's a bite. Oh, missed it. Another one. Missed it. Got one. Like I said, guys, super easy. Almost every cast. Um, this is my 45th. And Kieran's closing in on 50, so <laughs> pretty amazing if you're looking for some micro fishing off of a dock. Uh, super fun. All right, everybody, so apparently you don't need the bait. Here's a little plastic micro jig, first cast. <laughs> what a crazy place. Okay, we're gonna call it there. Uh, we had a very good day on the dock, we can't complain about that. Um, we actually ran out of bait, so <laughs> we had one bag of worms with us that we were going to use potentially as a secondary line while we were out on Duck Lake, and so that's what we used. Obviously very successful. How many did you end up with? I think 57 at the end. 57 at the end. end for Kieran. Well, I can tell you he beat me by one. I ended <laughs> up with 56. Uh, the only difference for me is I caught uh, 10 northern pike minnows 
and two pumpkin seeds. So unfortunately, Kieran did not pick up a pumpkin seed as one of his new species. Um, all of your 57 were perch, yeah. which is crazy. So none of them major big, but still obviously a very successful day fishing. And it's fun kind of micro fishing off a dock. So we might stop back here one more time before we head home. Uh, but we do have some other fishing planned on this trip, so we're not quite done yet. But I'm not sure about the bass, so <laughs> it's a little bit of a disappointment anyway. Uh, appreciate you guys joining us on this crazy adventure. And remember guys, if you liked the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, good fishing. Hey everybody, just uh, taking a break from fishing. Sometimes you gotta relax and enjoy the view. What do you say, Chief? Pretty nice. <laughs>